A baby among five killed in Germany after a car ploughed into crowds. A historic bell tower erupts in flames as severe storms hit parts of New South Wales. And China's fake photo scandal deepens as ScoMo takes to WeChat. Hello, I'm Christy Johns from Australian Online News. At least five people are dead, including a baby, after a man ploughed his car into a crowd of people shopping in Germany. The driver was arrested by police and appeared to be suffering from mental health issues. Roman Grosjean says he'll need extensive psychological help to deal with his fireball crash at the Bahrain GP. Grosjean told a French TV station he saw death coming and not even Hollywood could create the dramatic crash that saw his car split in two. A bell tower built in the 1800s has been partially destroyed by fire after it was struck by lightning during severe storms in New South Wales last night. Around 20,000 homes were without power as the storm lashed Sydney and the central coast. ScoMo has taken to WeChat to reach millions of Chinese citizens to explain Australia's position on the Afghanistan war crimes investigation after a fake image showed a soldier about to slit the throat of a child. A Chinese newspaper has now published more offensive cartoons. Donald Trump has raised over $170 million since Election Day after claiming the election was rigged, while US Attorney General William Barr says the Justice Department hasn't uncovered evidence of voter fraud that would change the outcome. St George Illawarra forward Jack DeBellin will be out for at least half the 2021 NRL season, with his retrial for sex assault charges set for April. And Juno star Ellen Page has proudly announced he is transgender and will now go by the name Elliot. For more, visit australianonlinenews.com.au.